Welcome back to Search Ahead, a series of interviews with our colleagues in the field to learn firsthand what is the situation in their respective countries. Today, Judith Montali is with us. Judith works as a Chief Nursing Officer at the University Teaching Specialized Eye Hospital in Lusaka, Zambia. She's also President of Sotnik, Zambian Operating Theatre Nurses Interest Group, and one of our Search Africa supervisors in the country. Good morning, Judith. Uh, we are delighted to have you here. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And you? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. They're all good over here. Thank you very much. I would like to ask you, um, in the current circumstances, in the, in the current situation in Zambia, how has the coronavirus pandemic affected on your work at the, the operating theater in the hospital where you are based? Thank you, Antonio. Well, the coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic has um, affected us in a lot of ways at all levels of our lives, at work, even in the communities where we live. So at the hospital where I work, we have some specific ophthalmology theaters where we have theater nurses working there. So as the directive from the Ministry of Health, we have actually cut down on the numbers of cases we are seeing. We are seeing emergence or emergence cases. We are also seeing the high priority elective uh, cases, that is for surgery. So the emergence cases that need surgery will be taken to theater, as well as the high priority elective cases. So as usual, um, this has affected everything. So we are seeing lesser patients and um, though the work is still going as usual and um, we are on standby for anything that may happen at any time. Thanks for that answer, Judith. And um, that gives me a little bit of a glimpse of what is going on, what is going on in the operating theaters and also brings me or takes me to the next question, which is uh, regarding the the work of nurses. The, it's always frontline, right? And facing yes. a lot of risks. And I would like yes. to know, what are the, the biggest challenges that uh, the collective of nurses uh, have to face during this pandemic? Okay, so that's a good question. So like you are saying, nurses are frontline workers and more so the operating theater nurses because they work in these closed up operating rooms where you can have any type of patient. It may be even a COVID positive patient. So they have to be ready for that. So first of all, there's been a directive from the Ministry of Health on um, the use of protect, personal protective equipment, which we abbreviate as PPE. So all nurses working in the theaters have appropriate PPE, like I sent you the pictures. So it's actually every staff, not all the nurses. So they have the appropriate surgical gowns to use. They have the appropriate um, masks. So anyone who is in close contact with patients has to use an N95 and these are provided. All these are actually provided. So you use an N95 mask, which is a respirator. And then in between, if you have other tasks, that's when you can use a surgical mask. So they have surgical gowns, they have types of masks, they have enough gloves, they have overshoes for their theater shoes. They have all the attire for the theater in short. And uh, we've had a lot of support from the Minister of Health. And uh, as a hospital, we've also had a lot of support from top management. We've been able to, to get all the PPE that we need. For now, we haven't faced a lot of challenges but we don't know where we are going. I hope it will remain the way it is. But um, if things change, I hope we'll still manage. We have enough PPE for now, yes. 
And, uh, but, uh, I should not um, fail to say that I'm talking about a, a single hospital where I'm working. There may be challenges with the other hospitals which I mean we keep hearing about, but the Minister of Health is really trying their best to ensure that all members of staff are getting the appropriate PPE. And um, as I mentioned before, you are one of our uh, Search Africa supervisors in, in Zambia, and then you have been for the last two years working, uh, going around different district hospitals in the country, mm -hmm. training and providing training to surgical mm -hmm. nurses. And I would like to know now in these times, what do you think that training that you provided to your colleagues, to your nurses colleague, uh, mm -hmm. how that training is going to help them to cope with the current situation? Well, thank you for that question again. So I also want to mention before I answer your question that um, fortunately, as theater nurses, we are very well versed with how to use the PPE and how to prevent infection because that's part of our everyday work. We work in theaters where you have to ensure that there are aseptic techniques being done and um, all the theater attire that needs to be used in theater is used. So we were actually very helpful even to orient our other colleagues who are now using PPEs on how to don the masks, how to doff any type of PPE. We're already very well versed with that. So coming to your question, as a Sage Africa uh, mentor, mentor or supervisor in the district, of course, I don't know if I can say fortunately enough, our stint with the district mentorship activities ended in December 2019, but I'm very well aware that the work that we did has been of great help during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic. Because as a nurse, I stressed to the nurses I was mentoring on the need for planning, now, when you plan, you have the right full requirements in place for the time that you need them. A theatre nurse should always be ready for anything. So we have instilled confidence in the mentees we were mentoring to an extent where they were able to start looking forward to running these theatres without much supervision. Because if someone is running a theater with a, without a lot of supervision, they are able to order or request for the medical and surgical items that they need to use, and they are able to put everything in place, uh, human resource and material resource. So I'm very aware that the nurses we have mentored were ready on how to use the PPE during this pandemic of COVID-19, because that's what we were talking about. They were ready with planning for their theaters, uh, regarding even the cleaning, the fumigation of the theaters, the control of traffic to the theaters, especially at this time. Those are the things we stressed on as we were mentoring them. Thank you for your time and uh, we have uh, it has been a pleasure having you here and um, we will follow closely the development of the coronavirus in, in Zambia and uh, good luck for the coming weeks. Hope everything Thank is you. Well. Thank you, Antonio. And thanks to everyone for watching the interview. You can find more in our YouTube channel check uh, our website and social media for our latest news. Take care and keep yourselves safe.